Apple, Microsoft and Nvidia are performing well at the moment. So we're going to take a deep dive into those stocks. But first of all, let's have a look at the S&P 500 for our weekend market roundup. So I'm going to look at the S&P on our three screen setup. We have the monthly time frame in the top left hand chart, which gives us the big picture of price action. Then the top right hand chart is the weekly and the chart along the bottom here is the daily time frame. Both the weekly and the daily have trend filter colors, so green when we are bullish, red bearish and gray when we're seeing a correction. So let's first look at the monthly time frame. So we have these two lines so the green line at the top is last year's high so the highest point for 2022 and the red line is last year's low price has remained inside last year's high and low the high is at four thousand eight hundred and eighteen dollars and the low is at three thousand four hundred and ninety one dollars so if you look at pr recent price action well first of all the long-term trend is bullish recent price action is showing that we had a bullish end to june this is june's candle see how large the candle closed by the end of the month and so far July we are seeing a bullish move uh, not as large as the candle we saw last month but a nice move so far as we're only halfway through the month we should see this continue to rise as long the bullish momentum continues so price is well on its way towards the all-time high if it does reach this point then we need to see how it reacts to this major level of resistance on the weekly time frame, the trend filter here is green. Price is above this 50 simple moving average on the weekly and the 200 simple moving average. And if you look at this area here, we had this correction, which started at, in January 2022. Price came down, formed this pattern of lower lows and lower highs until it reached the 200 simple moving average in October, where it found a base, a support level. And since this support level price has been on the rise forming higher highs and higher lows so price is still in this area of consolidation but forming a trend at the moment within consolidation zone as it's moving towards this all-time high and if you look at the daily time frame the bars are currently green which remove this resistance line price is walking along the 20 simple moving average which is acting as a ladder helping price to climb even higher as long as this nice linear move continues we should see the buys remain in control as it carries price all the way towards the all-time high but this is what we want to see so within consolidation zone although we are seeing some sideways movement within this zone we are seeing a trend for balance if it builds up momentum enough momentum then it should make light work of the all-time high but if it can break above this level what we need to see is a pattern of higher highs and higher lows to confirm a bull trend continuation so the s p is looking strong overall and we just need to see it break through this level and then we should see a surge in stocks breaking out in the stock market at the moment there are still breakouts occurring a lot of stocks appear in our scans as we look for opportunities in the market but it should pick up momentum if we have a breakout of the all-time high so the first stock on the list is apple I'm just going to open up the monthly time frame you can see that the long-term trend as i zoom out is bullish for apple and uh, similar to the s p we recently had this area of consolidation this on this stock it was formed from january 2022 but unlike the s p apple has broken out of its consolidation zone so it broke out last month with a strong bullish move and we now want to see this bullish trend continue over the coming weeks and months is it if it does continue to rise we have the 200 round number above which may act as a strong level of resistance because this is a psychological level of resistance the buyers may deem this stock too expensive as it reaches this point but if there is enough buying momentum price should make light work of this round number and continue to advance so far for july we are seeing a bearish candle there was a deeper move at the start of the month but the buyers have now pushed price slightly higher and as we go into the rest of the month we want to see the buyers push price above the open for the month and we want to see the candle close bullish 
on the weekly time frame the trend filter is green which is what we want to see so a nice clean linear bullish move to the upside and prices above the 50 and 200 simple moving averages if i just zoom out on this time frame we can see how clean some of these trends have been in the past if we look at this uh, data back from 2016 we can see some trends that have formed along the way there have been some deep corrections along the way as well but price usually overcomes these declines with a strong bullish move and that's exactly what we're seeing right now price is resuming the bullish move going down to the daily we can see again how clean this current move is mainly using the 20 simple moving average so in a bull trend if price only pulls back to the 20 simple moving average it's an indication of a strong trend that's in play if it comes down to the 50 that's still all right but a linear strong move uses mainly the 20 simple moving average as support so price have recently pulled back to the 20 it's come down to reset if it's similar to these recent declines then we should see a continuation to the upside a break and close above this recent high at $194, which is the high from June 30th. If price breaks and closes above this level, then we should see a continuation to the upside. So looking strong for Apple so far. Along the way, we may actually see a deeper move down towards the 50 simple moving average, which is normal as long as we see a bounce from the 50 or an area of support and a continuation back to the upside. Up next, we have Microsoft. Now, Microsoft on the monthly time frame, if I just zoom out, has a really strong looking overall trend. So we had this strong trend uh, all the way up until this high in November 2021. Then we saw this decline. So this stock declined by, I'm just going to measure it from this high, declined by 38% and this decline came down to $213 where it found support and then we saw a rise back to the upside price last month broke above last year's high so this green line is last year's high the highest point for 2022 at $338 and if I just zoom in uh, price then came up to test the all-time high failed at this level and again this month price also retested the all-time high so far failed to break through so what we want to see is a nice strong move above this level and a pattern of higher highs and higher lows on the daily time frame. So going down to the weekly, the bars are currently green and price is above the 50 and 200 simple moving averages. And you can see around this point, so when price declined, price came down and found support at the 200 simple moving average. The 200 simple moving average is a major level of support and resistance. So in a long-term bull trend, we may see price move further away from 200, but sooner or later, it will come down because it finds this as its safe haven. It will come down to the 200, reset, and then form the next leg of the trend. So now we're just waiting for that next leg to be confirmed with a breakout of the all-time high. On the daily time frame, the bars are green. Price is above the 2050 and the 200 simple moving averages. So close up here, we can see the two attempts at the all-time high here in June and again recently. So we had this attempt on Friday. Price has failed. We may see another decline towards the 20 and 50 simple moving averages. But because the overall momentum is bullish, price may have another attempt and this time we could see a a breakout of that level once we have a breakout of the all-time high what we need to see next is a move up a pullback and then a second breakout above a previous high and that will confirm a bull trend continuation so looking strong here for Microsoft and this is high on the watch list for potential opportunities and the last stock I'm going to cover is Nvidia Nvidia is performing really well especially with all its development in AI if, we, if I just zoom out we can see how far price has climbed over the years if you look back in may 2016 price was around nine dollars a share it's currently standing at 454 dollars a share so we had this strong breakout through last year's high and the previous all-time high in may so the previous all-time high was at 345 dollars the bullish momentum continued through june and so far this month as well if price comes up to the $500 round number, this is a major level of resistance. Price may stumble at this point and struggle to actually break through. Or then again, it could it could easily break through if there's enough 
buying momentum but this may cause some problems for price so do keep in mind this round number on the weekly time frame the bars are green price is above the 50 and 200 simple moving averages and this past week closed bullish there was a long week there's a long week above the candle for last week so indicating there was a strong surge to the upside but then some selling off before the end of the week and if you look at the daily time frame the bars are are green here price is above the 20 50 and 200 simple moving averages so if we look at this area here we had a gap up so this gap up was around 23 percent 23 percent move to the upside price gapped up past the previous all-time high and instead of coming down to fill this gap which is what we normally see instead price continued to move to the upside and has since continued to form a pattern of higher highs and higher lows recently the 20 simple moving average was used as support as price continued to advance we may see another pullback to the to the 20 simple moving average which is normal what we then need to see is a strong push up and a move above the if i just squeeze it, the chart a little above the five hundred dollar round number a break above the five hundred dollar round number and we should see a continuation of the long-term bullish trend so nvidia is looking strong here and has the potential to continue to advance if you enjoyed today's analysis don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and also hit the notification icon so that you can catch all of our videos as soon as they are released because our videos are time sensitive you want to make sure that you catch them as soon as they are uploaded to our channel. See you all on the next video.